please listen carefully. Recently, in the interest of self-improvement and personal advancement, I have taken inventory of all of my skills and their various levels. And what I have discovered is somewhat discouraging, utterly disappointing, and considering, uh, not all that surprising. I discovered when being completely honest with my skill sets that I am adept at using the English language. Speaking and writing and reading, I am marginally proficient at operating a motor vehicle, meaning in 10 years of driving I have only been in one accident and only received a handful of traffic citations. I can ride a bike and fix a flat tire. I can unclog a drain, although really I think the Drano does most of that for me. I can cook dinner for my wife and myself, provided the dinner is beans and rice, pasta, or some derivative thereof. I can browse the internet and operate a number of computer systems. I have, at one point, assembled a computer from its constituent components. I have an introductory knowledge of HTML and can do just about enough to get myself into trouble. And that's really about it. Guys, guys, no, no, don't feed me to the zombies, please, please, I'll write you a funny limerick. I have a huge knowledge base covering a wide variety of topics, from the historical to the fictional, but if I was being perfectly frank, I'm not certain that being able to recite large portions of dialogue from Return of the Jedi is a particularly useful skill, unless I happen to be performing a stage production of Return of the Jedi, which to my knowledge, I am not. Seriously, I can quote the entirety of Empire Strikes Back. That's gotta be worth something. So I am left with the realization that I lack numerous very basic skills that in the event of an apocalypse, I probably would not live very long without. If the zombie plague happened tomorrow, I'd be shit out of luck. If roving hordes of angry, maple syrup addled Canadians crossed the border and invaded, laying waste to our crops and fields, I would be defenseless. If aliens invaded and decided to keep only the humans alive who had useful marketable skills, I'm quite certain that I would be added to the pile of disintegrated rejects. Therefore, I mean to learn some useful skills and amend this serious gap in my skill set. When the apocalypse comes, and boy is it coming, I don't intend to be the first one fed to the ravenous swarms of whatever hell beasts will be roaming whatever is left of the charred landscape. I intend to be a useful and productive member of whatever cobbled together civilization that these survivors managed to build. Unless that proves to be too much work, you know, video games are much more fun right now, and being zombie kibble doesn't actually sound all that bad considering. I mean, they only get to bite you the one time, and then you get to join a growing, thriving community of like-minded individuals. Granted, the pay isn't good, and you're more of a mindless cog in an unfeeling machine than an individual, and you have a constant hunger for the flesh of the living. But you know, I've worked retail for the last 10 years, and other than the flesh eating, it's six of one, half dozen of the other. So. Oh! If you have any discussion about the lack of skills or skills that you do have, drop us a line, leave a comment below, send us a tweet. Uh, I'd love to know what skills you think are required for the impending apocalypse. Corey, I will hear from you tomorrow, and I will be back on Friday talking about B-Team, uh television series and movie franchises. It'll be fun. Alright, fine. Throw me outside. But know this. You're going to lose all of this knowledge. It's all gone. Not getting it back.